Joel Hans here and today we are heading to Stony Creek, Ontario. That's right, to do a massive pizza and wings challenge. That's right, pizza and chicken wings. What a great combination, a very traditional kind of like, you know, football game, sports game, guys night, girls night, party, etc, etc combination. So, uh, Loto's Pizzeria, a wood fire pizza joint. So here we are going to do their challenge, which from my understanding is two extra large pizzas with three toppings each. And then we get a uh, party pack of their wings, which I guess is about three and a half pounds, something along those lines of wings. Um, and you get to pick the flavors. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably pick like, you know, two or three different flavors uh, just to have a little bit of variety. I'm sure you could also just do the one as well. Um, details of the other details of the challenge. Um, it is, I believe, $70 if you fail, free if you complete it, and I believe it is a 40 minute time limit on it. So it's a lot, sounds like a lot of food in 40 minutes. Um, like we said, two extra large pizzas and the wings. But again, what's really cool is wood fired pizza. I really like wood fired pizzas. It's hard to beat, um, you know, kind of getting that really nice crispness, cooking those high heats. It just does something special to the dough, special to the flavors, etc. So, should be fun. Let's tune on in. Uh, let's go see what this food and Lotos is all about. Out, and ultimately, let's get eating. So here we have two of their extra large pizzas, three toppings each. So for this one, I went with smoked bacon. I went with green peppers and onions. This one, I went with smoked ham, pineapple, and tomatoes. They like are all wood-fired pizzas. See that great big wood oven in the back? So that's pretty dang cool. Everybody loves a good wood-fired pizza. They dressed them really nicely with parm, a whole variety of different cheeses. Looks exceptional. I also have 24 of their wings here. This is like a party pack of wings. I picked three flavors. I went with what we believe was a medium. I went with a Cajun, which is a dry rub. And then I went with honey garlic, um, some of the most popular flavors. And there is the celery and the carrots here as well. So basically we have the three items here. Looks really good. Um, it smells delicious delicious. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so let's ultimately get started here. Let's get going and wish me luck because this will be fun. All right, so super excited. I mean, it's hard to beat a pairing like pizza and wings. Um, and the wood fired oven, they are using apple wood. So the place actually smells really delicious as well. And of course, you kind of get that woody, fiery um, note on those pizzas. Besides that, it's a really cool spot actually. In my first time here, and I will say it's pretty impressive. They have a huge heated patio. Um, and obviously, I mean, they have all your takeout, delivery, but I'm excited, I'm pumped. Obviously, if you want to do the challenge, you gotta come in house to do it, of course, but um, I also have some of their uh, sauces. I have a garlic sauce, I also have their kind of signature pizza sauce, and I have some lovely kind of marinara pasta sauce here, pizza sauce, all that good stuff here as well. So, we think the restaurant is ready, ready? Cool, do we have an official timer? Yes sir. All right, so how about we get started? I'm gonna probably start with the pizza. Ooh, looks pretty dang good to be honest. I'm gonna try this one first. All right, so let's get started. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Woo, let's go Joel! Oh my God. That sauce? That is fire. I mean, it is actually wood fire too, so. No pun intended. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at Loto's in Stony Creek, Ontario, which is basically the Hamilton area, um, kind of on your way to Niagara. So if you're familiar with Ontario, all those names are probably very familiar. So here we are doing their massive pizza and chicken wing challenge. So you have um, which is about three and a half pounds of wings or a party pack of wings. And then you have the two extra large pizzas. As I mentioned, you do get to pick your toppings, three toppings on each. So I went with a um, smoked bacon, a green pepper and an onion on the one that I'm eating now. And then again, a tomato, a pineapple and a smoked ham on the other one. And yes, I'm just saying pineapple on pizza is growing on me. I don't know, it's pretty controversial, so let me know what you're thinking down below, but I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely grown on me. So for this challenge, we had 40 minutes to eat all the items um, in order to get them for free, as well as the celery and the carrots on the wings were also um, actually required for the challenge, so all the edible food. And that bacon. I love bacon. 
So the pizzas are all wood fired, but it was definitely that combination plus the ingredients which really made this worthwhile. So like I said, I went with what was classified as the smoked bacon and the smoked ham. So the smoked bacon was kind of a little, like it was different from the traditional bacon. Um, it just had great flavors and paired with that wood fire, which was an apple wood, um, it just like gave the pizza such a nice delicious flavor. Um, it was cooked perfectly where you had the nice kind of fire touches around the crust and on the bottom you can kind of just taste that, I don't know, that you know, that brick oven, that wood fired pizza. Really, really good, but it wasn't overcooked. It was cooked perfectly, so it still had that nice crisp, a nice texture but it was not like burnt. So super uh, like kudos to them because they definitely know how to cook and prepare a pizza. All right, I'm loving that pizza. Let's try a couple of these wings as well. This is the Cajun. Mm. Really nice bread wing on that actually. They also make their own sauce in house, which I definitely uh, could tell as well. Again, just beautiful flavors, a lot of spices, a lot of herbs coming through. Um, really, really enjoyed them. Uh, when it came to the chicken wings, chicken wings were solid as well. I mean, it's hard to go wrong. It was a breaded wing. Uh, again, you got to pick your flavors. I went with a medium, a Cajun, which was a dry rub, and then the honey garlic, which they said were kind of like their three most popular. So I just went with those there. Oh, we have three minutes in. Hopefully doing not too bad. Mm. We need to nice and hot so they're steaming actually. Okay. Keep on trucking. Finish up this pizza here. Actually, a very, very enjoyable pizza. Oh, the flavors. And like I said, that wood fire, that's something. Something to do with like animals and meat and fire and wood. You can't go wrong. I also had a bowl of marinara there on the side that I was using to dip my crust. That is definitely my preferred way to eat um, my pizza. I will say in the past, often I would, well, and I do that occasionally as well. I leave my crust for the end, um, kind of as a strategic move, although I will admit once or twice it has come back to uh, bite me in the butt and backfire. Um, so this time I was just eating my crust with it, and I will say it was very, very delicious. Like I said, the sauce was absolutely fantastic, um, and I really enjoyed it. But even the pizza itself had just like the perfect moisture, etc. So really, really did enjoy that. Um, if you want the challenge to do the challenge, uh, definitely call ahead. Um, I don't know if they technically require like 24 hours notice or whatever, um, advance notice, but definitely give them a call just to establish you're coming on in. Again, you do get to pick the flavors of your pizza and of the wings. Uh, you don't have to have what I had. Again, I just went with preference and I would probably recommend you do that as well from a strategic standpoint as uh, it's always better to eat food that you really enjoy and good food does help it go down. And in this case, luckily I had both. You got this, Joel, let's go. Thank you. Where are we at for time? Five minutes, 20 seconds. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so it was my first time actually here at the establishment and I will say they had a really nice uh, big patio. I know they mentioned, um, you know, all through all the world situations they were doing, uh, they're doing like pickup, delivery, um, takeouts, so all that good stuff. So definitely you want a solid wood fired pizza. You don't even have to do the challenge. You can obviously just order one up. Um, they'll fix it up for you. Um, but yeah, definitely really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, everything so far though was very delicious. Um, hopefully we get to the second pizza and get to some more of the wing flavors. Um, if we do, obviously I will talk about that, but ultimately we'll just see what happens. Um, we are just over six minutes in. We do have a little bit of time left, but fingers crossed, don't wanna jinx it. So that everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Let's ultimately see what happens. Uh, let me know down below your favorite kind of pizza right now. And at that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, got one piece of down, one piece of left, and just over two thirds of the wings. Junk. 
very delicious. I'm excited for this one. So this one, guys, I gotta burp. Mm, it'll come. Ham and pineapple. This is a very controversial pizza right here. Comment down below if you think ham and pineapple, specifically pineapple, blogs up pizza. You know, I like pineapple on pizza. It's not bad. Bottle of pineapple, seven minutes. Thank you, seven minutes in. Oh man, this is actually really good. That smoked ham, and that sweetness of pineapple, woo! I tell you guys, the pineapple and pizza thing is winning me over. All right, so we're just over nine minutes in. We got half of the one pizza left. And again, still all those wings. Very, very good. I'm loving the flavors on this pizza. I 100% would recommend the pineapple and the smoked ham, actually. So, love that. So let's keep on going. Get this thing down. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Pizza and wings are like a traditional, like very classic combo. <clears throat> and it suits it very well. So let's keep on going. Rocking that happy, healthy, hungry shirt today. So I tell you, it does magic, it does wonders. Just a little bit over 12 minutes in. Pizza's still going well. Basically down the last slice. I'll tell you, again, I'm still that pineapple's growing. It's like a fresh pineapple, it's not just like a canned pineapple they're using here. I love pineapple, it makes such a difference. And on this pizza, it's fire. I just jammed the wings. I did get a few done earlier. Mm. Let's rip through these, get them done. And go for that finish. Mm. Still got a burp. I haven't had a real good one yet. Mm. It'll come. How are you feeling, Joe? Pretty good. No complaints. What's your favorite so far? I really like that pizza. Which one? Oh, the pineapple? Oh. It was bomb. The scandalous one. Last on the garlic, then we just got a couple of the medium ones there. Seven to be exact. I have sticky honey garlic all over me. 17. The 17 minutes in. It's hard not to wipe it off my face. 
It's like a instinct or impulse. Twenty minutes in, I just noticed my camera shut off, so it might have lost two seconds, but we're on the last wing. Yeah, okay. All right, vegetables are in the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Drink the sauce. Drink the sauce? That's a joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Good thing I like vegetables. I have been told I might be part hamster, but it's not refuted or confirmed yet. Got a nice piece of bone in my mouth too. So I'm getting some bone and carrot or celery. Extra calcium and extra fiber. Chew your food, kids. And we are done. All right. We got 2305. 2305, just over 23 minutes. Definitely a pretty substantial challenge. Very delicious, but definitely a lot of food. Really like the pizzas. The wood fire pizza is fantastic. That's what they do here. That's what they're known for, and I can definitely see why. Um, wings were good as well. No complaints. Again, pizza wings, very traditional combo. I did have to do the vegetables, so nothing wrong with that. I would probably eat them at the beginning, would I have known? But I have no complaints about that. So yeah, overall, 2305. Still got a burp. I'm only getting little burps out, but it'll come eventually. So yeah, that, I want to give a huge thanks to all the staff here. Everybody's been fantastic, very, very friendly. The food is really good. So whether you're into the challenge or just want some pizza, I definitely recommend the wood fire pizza. That right there, see it right there. You can stare mm -hmm. into it, you can watch your food being cooked on it, it's pretty cool. But yeah, that, like I said, no complaints. Um, very delicious. We're going to get the meal free, which is pretty cool. But uh, that, everybody, until next time, stay happy with the hungry. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you like the video, guys, let me know down below. Feel free to like it, share it with your friends, your family, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your nephews, your nieces, whatever you are in between. But I really appreciate you. And that, until next time, stay happy with the hungry, happy eating. And of course, until next time. Woo! Oh, I'm going to not tip the table and say, have a lovely day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day